The stack card lists uh, Huga as having a four hundred or uh, bleh, thirty-seven thousand tons of displacement. Sounds for, like a full load. It's uh, wrong. I think it's thirty-six to thirty. Are you sure? <laughs> it, uh, according to Conway's anyway, her full load is thirty-six and a half. Yeah, that's in the ballpark then. Yeah. But they've got her as over thirty-seven. Over thirty-seven. Okay, that's that. Like, I if they were ballparking thirty-seven, then, then like, it's an approximation, I guess, and that's not entirely wrong. Yeah. But and plus, um, I don't know which tons they're using. <laughs> ah, that's true. Yeah. Um, considering that, <sighs> Treaty era ships are all listed in a specific ton to a specific design or standard displacement, not the design displacement. Um, She's pre-treaty, though. I'm pretty yes. sure. Which is why I'm saying, because like, all the treaty ships are standardized with each other. Yeah. So, I don't know if the Japanese are using long tons, short tons, or metric tons. I'm going to take a gander and it's say probably that they're metric, using whatever the British are using. Which is long tons. Yeah. Either that or they just went metric. Because those are the two that I've seen pop up. Either It would be British very unlikely metric. for them to use short tons. Okay, yeah. It, it, those are the two that I've seen. Uh, literally, like, because a lot of the Japanese documents through the 1910s, 20s... Are very British. Were, yeah, they're in English. <laughs> they have some Japanese on them, and then they have English, and it's just like... Well, it's this is really convenient. confusing. I, I can kind of see why, like, Japanese intelligence, or rather uh, foreign re intel on Japanese equipment, dropped like a rock after the 20s and 30s, because they just started writing a lot more Japanese. <laughs> Oh, Where like previously you, you literally just they had it they writ, wrote it in English for you you know yeah well at least the new clouds are pretty that is a plus let's hope those don't crash the game either well they haven't crashed it yet and honestly other than. A4 touches floor, everything goes to hell. Um, I haven't had anywhere near as many crashes in the last four hours as I had in well, three hours as I had in the first week of the last patch. Also, that is some wonderful that's, failure that's to apply really normal good. maps correctly. Mm -hmm. Mild concern about that statement. Normal maps are the instructions for where the texture is supposed to go. If you if you apply them badly, it results in really badly stretched textures, and I just walked by a, or walked by, sailed by a cliff on Medport. Oh, and... Uh, I have mods for Skyrim specifically to fix that issue, right? Yeah. Which, yeah. That's a mod shot. Shout out. Smin. Not Smin. No, Skyrim Mipmap Immerge Improvement Project, or Improvement like, like, Mod. It is Smin. Smin makes Skyrim Mod? Oh, Smin. Not SM, Smin. Uh, Sierra Mike, India Mike. Yeah, yeah Smin. I was, I was like, you mean 1080p is making, <laughs> making Skyrim Ow, 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 my ass. What the hell? Well, I just took a PGO2 to the rear. The Type 11 is ridiculously bloody slow. Yes, it is not fast. It has pretty awful gun angles, and it, what it has going for it is very high yield torpedoes. All it has um, going for it is Mark 16s, yes. Yeah. Which does make it good for encounter. Yes, you, you you also can just park around a corner and wait for somebody to turn the corner, and then you can pop just on Mark 16. Slap and them. It is, I find, a lot more effective than actual long lances because you can get close enough that they can't dodge. Yeah. But that said, with the long lances, I can just spawn, dump them, and then go five minutes later. Oh, a kill. That said, yeah. I've gotten like five torp kills, and only two of them have counted for the challenge, because if you aren't in a rank two or higher ship at the time that the kill is recorded, regardless of the fact that you launch those torps from your rank five cruiser, um, yeah. it doesn't oh, count. Oh, interesting. They actually put that in. That restriction now exists. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't say that. that issue was... Yeah, that restriction was not a present uh, in the last event. So that means that they've actually put in uh, the same sort of restriction that you see in... Um, uh, 
for assists and for I believe well, there wagers is the challenge have similar assists in this. That is the thing. I don't know. Wait, wagers have a different rule. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the point is that assists had the similar kind of condition to them uh, in the last event. So. Uh, planes are supposed to count, but apparently they don't, because I was in a plane when I got a torp kill a few matches ago, and I didn't do anything. I think for torps, I'm just going to do, uh, Arc Gage Shimakaze. 273 km an hour long lenses. I'd have Shimakaze, are... but I've been sitting on 60,000 research left on it for the last month. Ah, heck. Yeah, I would say that she's probably the best, like, event grinding ship for arcade. Just because, mm -hmm. like, wow, you can you can very easily get five torpedo kills. Like yeah. that's sort of her thing with torpedo reloads. You just spam them out, they rearm. And yeah. Though whilst whilst changing squadron was good for my mental state, um, <laughs> it hasn't been good for squadron research. Yeah, that's that's pretty unfortunate. I've uh, not really paid attention to my RP gain on squad RP. Not that I was getting anything before, but now I'm getting like half of nothing, which is... 10k is like, for the size of the squadron that Sonar already was, that sounds... that was actually pretty decent. That showed, I think the last like, one I got was 3k. Wait, that's pretty concerning. Hmm. Because, remember my... 10k was the 20 general the average. 20 k the limit, yeah. Uh, 10k was what we were usually getting on uh, the three-day basis. Oh, I was getting when like it just seven. got released. Huh. If that. But yeah, when it was just got released, I believe we were maxing mm. at 19k or so. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to look back on the screenshots. I don't remember the exact number, but it was people were a lot more motivated at that time. And these days, like, mm. most people in 7RV or who are related or affiliated with it have stopped playing Worth Hunter to some capacity. Yeah. Which I honestly can't blame them for. Um, no, but it does make it a bit awkward to try and grind oh, yeah. when there's nobody in the squadron that plays. Oh yeah, no, it's sort of par for the course, though. I kind of expected it, in a sense. Like, people were starting to get into more other games, and it's just sort of the standard life cycle of this sort of game, right? Yeah. Uh, it has a gestation period of, I think, for most people, like, three years, I think, is the average gestation period, and then people move on. Um, it might go as far as five, but that's the typical life cycle. Oh, and that's then, a cowl that's looking straight at me. Like, games like Project Wingman or Ace Combat 7 come out, you know? Like, pretty well done games. And, uh, Ow. This is a very time-intensive product. So. Yeah, but still keep coming back to it. But yeah, no, I, I stuck with it for so long, partially because there was no other product that I could really play in my downtime, because potato pieces. Nowadays, I have more options, so I am actually starting to think about other options. Mm, my issue is there's nothing new coming out that I'm at all interested in. That's fair. Oh, and I am dead. Even before the cowl actually looks at me too much. <sighs> no, no, I got killed by a PR-35 auto-cannoning from the other side of the map. That sounds about right. It's comparable DPM to... Not counting frag pen. The cowl hadn't it's actually hit me yet. Oh yeah, no, not the cowl. The cowl's got a higher DPM by about... No, I know, I'm saying that the cowl hadn't actually hit me yet and was half the distance away. I didn't know the PR-35 existed until I noticed that it killed me. Was it firing from behind cover by chance? It was firing from across the map. Incroyable. But... I think it... I'm gonna say if Spokoyne has this comparable DPM, not counting frag pen or dispersion. It actually, Project 35 actually has better dispersion, uh, not accounting for overheat mechanics. I mm. can't really quantify overheat though, which is the problem. Because um, I don't know what the scaling is, essentially. Because it has a deep buff as the overheat sort of meter uh, increases, mm -hmm. but I don't know what that scaling is, so. And I don't know exactly how I quantify that scaling either. It's 
speaking of things like that, um, when the Io was launched, their barrel life expectancy was like 350 charges. Okay. On a full charge equivalent. Right. Um, when they were retired, the barrels were more like 1500. The full charge equivalent expected. It's quite impressive. Yeah. I wonder if it's an assessment, a change in assessment of what was considered acceptable barrel no, or... No, it, it was additives to the powder and changes to the shells. Ah, see, they innovated the actual, like, made it cleaner, essentially. Well, yeah, I mean, they just threw a bunch of... The, the, from, like, the 60s onwards, from its Vietnam deployment new, for New Jersey, they literally ah, oh, just... Ah, you mean that far down? Oh, I see. Yeah, but when New Jersey was in Vietnam, they added... They, they just took all the charges and painted them with titanium dioxide white paint. Oh, neat. And they called it Swedish additive. And it, like, doubled the lifespan of the barrels as they were expected to be at that point. Nice. Ignoring anything else. Also, that's a bunch of long lances heading straight useful. towards me. That's fun. Oh boy. Hmm. Eh, they're behind me now. Unfortunately, nice. the, uh bots that they were heading, or the AI targets they were heading towards are also moving forward. So, my conclusion is, Japanese destroyers are unple uh, uh, bleh, unpleasantly slow. Uh, I don't know if I would say they're the slowest, but they are definitely slower than the US and counterparts. Like, they move, I think 61. They move um, slowly. One exception. They turn pretty slowly. Their guns traverse slowly. They reload slowly. The only thing that's not slow about them is their torps. And the shell blast. Yeah, and their shells. Also, yeah. house, also their death speed. That definitely isn't uh, slow. Oh, oh, I see. I was like, I was about to say like they have okay crew, but like they're nothing special. I don't know if they're actually like a squishier ship than other contemporaries. Like, I haven't noticed uh, a marked increased time to kill off of a, like, killing a Japanese ED as opposed to a German ED. Um, they both oh. seem pretty equally squishy to me. Bearing again, in mind, I've I haven't touched a non-Japanese ED this so. yet. Ah, uh, that's fair. I, I have generally not benchmarked, like, anything outside of... Tours, yeah, I've generally been benchmarking tour with with 5-inch 38s, which may not be the most, like, useful weapons to test with for the sake of, like, subtleties in, in DPM. Yeah. You know, like, if, if something is going to die, like, Five half second faster, is, uh, it's hard to tell, you know? Yeah, it's hard to tell if something's dying quicker or slower when, <laughs> when you're melting. But the thing is, like, I don't really feel like there is... I don't notice a difference in DPM until I start to deal with layered armor, which mm. I think is the very, like, primary thing. And I don't because notice because the issue like, is that the performance of layered armor versus non-layered armor is backwards to what it should be in reality. Yes, but also just how what gets modeled as layered. Like, for example, the STS. Sort of what, the caveat of why STS is tanky right now is predominantly because of the fact that on like Fletcher, there are three layers of armor. There's mm. two structural steel layers, and then there's one STS layer, right? Yeah. And that actually is what's creating the tankiness against HE or Fletcher. Um, not so much the STS itself, because we looked into the parameters, and it doesn't have frag reduction. So that's not what's causing Doesn't STS it does. have no frag at the moment, seeing as... It has no frag, but neither does structural steel, and neither does RHA. So that's not the unique factor that's creating time to kill differences. Um, but we do know that ships like Fletcher and Sumner will create target undamaged uh, sort of statements when you strike at it with shells with lower frag pen, uh, than the STS plate. And there are areas of ships that are thicker in structural steel than the STS plate. So. Uh, like, for example, Tashkent has 56mm plating in structural steel, which should still prevent frag pen off of something like an Akizuki. And yet you will not get that target undamaged signature off of a Tashkent for some reason. Mm. And we strongly suspect that that's because it's layered armor, meaning that it just eats the frags and 
doesn't generate enough damage for it to be triggered. <laughs> for lack what of a better term. Sorry, tricks went to Japan. I didn't notice. <laughs> ah. But yeah, like it's there's like I don't think that STS is necessarily kind of crazy on its own. As it were. That's that's why I don't think that Brooklyn's STS is as ridiculous. Um, because oh jeez, the PA35 is looking at me. 16 mils of anti-frag in a bracket where everything has 30 mils plus each pen is not going to really do much. And secondly, um, like I guess the only notable thing there is that the cemented plate is actually the, the cemented belt is actually layered on top of the anti-frag. Sorry, may... I just got anti-submarine rocketed. Oh wow, that's. Oh, by the point of the was For a second, I thought you meant like by an ass rock, and I'm like, but how? <laughs> or an SBROC. But yeah, I can, I can see what you mean. Yeah, so, Trick, be advised, there's a PR 35 going around the corner to tor or to delete our single remaining target over there to your left. Oh. Yeah, bite. Oh, never mind. Hoy just got. Um, removed. Heck. You got the kill on the Mitsuki, though. Mitsukis are pretty strong. I, I I was genuinely considering that they belong at 3-7 in the current bracketing. Because mm. they're not bad. Like, I mean, they're not SAP, great, but... Not great, but I mean, better than Constance, which really don't belong in the same BR bracket as a Mitsuki. Um, better than Town, which, I mean, maybe it's just the, D, the DDBR expansion thing that I'm trying to make is going to have to be processed at some point. Um, but yeah, like, I, I don't think that Mutsuki is, like, 3.3 .3 material. I think she's higher. And if, if anything on the Japanese tree goes to 3.3, it's probably the Chidori, which has half the guns. So, <laughs> you know, that, that makes more sense. Well... In an, uh, in an incredibly historical ir irony, uh, Trick just torpedoed U.S. democracy. What are they, uh, huh? The PR-35 that killed me twice is called U.S. democracy. What an interesting name for a Russian a and, Soviet ship, for that matter. Yeah, and Trick just lanced it. <laughs> with a 91. 91? Aerial torpedo? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, for all intents and purposes, he about spoon-fed it to him, so... Yeah, no, I'm just because of the 35, did he, like, not see the plane? Apparently <laughs> it has radar not. and ET shells, like... Like, the guns were in the opposite direction. The 35. Yeah, fair, but that, that's still, I, I put the blank squarely on the 35 for not being Paying attention. somewhat cognizant, yeah. He, he really should have known better than to just but yeah. piece a plane. <laughs> It was still just incredibly excellent just to <laughs> US oh, yeah, democracy no, that's torpedoed. But, uh, uh, that's, that's very thematic. If, if, if they had a Hawaiian map, it would be mm. kind of like, like poetic, I, I guess? I have considered would doing a Pearl Harbor require... event. What? I've considered doing a Pearl Harbor event. The issue is we don't have the ships. That is true, and the last time I remember doing a Pearl Harbor event, I was just farming B5Ns with a P40 to stat at my KDR. Mm. Because at the time, uh, AI targets counted as player kills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and the Pearl Harbor event uh, set up with triggers for D3As and B5Ns just spawn in waves. Yeah. So while, I like, just mean like you custom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, not anything fancy. Oh, you know, for sure. This is, this is just my memories of the Pearl Harbor event being, like, I'd lick my lips, and if I want to seal club, I'd play as the Japanese, because they get an air spawn and the P-47 take off, like, oh no. <laughs> but if I wanted to set up my KDR, I would play the Americans and get a lot of SL. Yeah. A lot of SL. No, I, I watched Tora 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 again the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And whilst I still couldn't understand 90% of what the Japanese were saying, um, I did have some better idea of what was going on <laughs> a second time around. That's fair. You can also That's appreciate a lot more the details. The, the set they made for Nagato... Yeah. Um, they didn't have blast bags fitted on the turrets. Uh-oh. Uh, I suppose at the time, 
that's that's a minor detail. Yeah. But then it's also possible they were planning on changing them over, or they were, because <laughs> you know the peacetime blast bags for the IGN were listed as white canvas, and the wartime ones were listed as brown canvas. Right. So having the wrong color on could potentially have been misconstrued by anybody who happens to know that detail. Watching it. Yeah. It, it also depends on the sort of degree of dissemination of documentation and it, at that time, because we have a lot more now True. Uh, due to private collections coming forward and or like families coming forward from private private collections and But it's uh, not like it was just a bunch things. of Americans doing all the Japanese filming. No, but the point is even the Japanese were not fully in the know mm. of their own doc like but they did have all example, the bracketing on the f on, on the barrels for the I don't remember if the bracketing is there for the attachment of the blast bags or if it's there for changing the barrels out or something hmm. but you can see it's on the barrels on Hyuga in game now nice but yeah like as far as I'm aware for example Yamato's full plans were not uh, known to the public until a few families came forward, uh, and sort of confirmed it, I guess, for I can confirm uh, the that Yamato's full plans were not available to the public at the time that the anatomy of the ship Yamato was printed. That's fair, yeah. Which it, looks to be in the 80s at some point. I know that the families came forth late 20th century.